Welcome to Nanobi Crochet. Today, if you like it, we're gonna make this nice triangle bag. It's a make with macrame cord, and then I put this chain here, and then zipper, liner. We're gonna do everything together. So, if you like to see how do I made this little purse, stay tuned and watch the tutorial with me. For this tutorial, this is a, a, the list of material that you need. A pin, one stitch marker, a yarn needle, crochet hook number four, scissor, thread needle and needle, centimeter, macrame yarn or any thick cotton yarn, and then a zipper. Fabric, a piece of felt. So you choose any color that you like. I chose to do my black, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I gonna make a with light yarn so you can see better the stitch. Okay, so if you have everything in your hand, let's go start. This is the panel that I already made, and then I'm gonna give you a measure. It's uh, 30, 35 and a half centimeter length and it's wide 18 centimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna put aside this for now. We don't need it. And then we're gonna start. Okay. So I'm gonna use a light yarn so you can see. We're gonna start with slip knot and then we're gonna chain 30. So one, two, three, four, five, six into you reach 30 chain. When you reach the 30 chain, add one. This is a multiple of three plus one. So in the next here chain from the hook, we're gonna do single crochet, yarn over, in the next chain we're gonna do a cluster. So this I mean we're gonna do double crochet, but we're not gonna close it. We stay like that. Yarn over again go in the same stitch and do another crochet, double crochet, but half done. So when you have a three loop on your hook, you close together. And then you're gonna do slip stitch in the next chain. And then again, yarn over in the next stitch you're gonna do two double crochet, no close. So this is one, yarn over, this two. Yarn over, close two, a close all through three lip together, uh, loop together. <laughs> and then slip stitch in the next one you're gonna have just a little bump in the back. And then again, yarn over, in the next stitch, double crochet, half, yarn over, insert the hook, pull the through, put the loop, close to, you have a three loop on your hook, Yarn over, pull all three loop, 
and then slip stitch in the next one. Let's go do it another time together. Yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull, close to, yarn over, insert the hook in the same stitch, yarn over, close to, when you have a three loop on your hook, yarn over and close together and slip stitch in the next one. We start with single crochet and we have to finish with the single crochet. Okay? So I'm going to do this row and then I'll show you how to close here. I'm almost at the end here and then I do my slip stitch and then I'm going to do the next cluster. slip stitch, a single crochet in the in the very end where we did a slip knot because like I say we start with a single crochet so we have to finish with a single crochet just right here where we see the, the slip knot Okay, and this is the first row. Now chain one, turn your work. Now don't forget to work the first single crochet is right here. So if you have a difficult to reach after the, you are you know maybe you don't see it because if you skip it then you're gonna finish it with not have any um, number for make this pattern, okay? Pattern. So you do chain one, single crochet is this one, it's the first one. And then you have to do single crochet in the slip stitch from the previous row. Then single crochet in the top of the cluster here where we close the double crochet a single crochet here where this does slip, slip stitch. So let me turn you you cannot miss it, you see the B here. So the slip the single crochet you have to do it right here. And the next one is right here. Turn if you have a difficult to find it, turn a little bit like that and then you see the B and then where you have to put the single crochet. And then here you can see very well it's a little hole. And then again here And then here. The most important that you don't have to skip the chain. So once in a while count it if you have a 30. Okay? So that's uh, uh, they're gonna give you uh, you know the secure that you go forward in the right way. Okay, so single crochet here. A single crochet here. Okay, so continue like that and I meet you here at the end. I'm at the end here, so this is gonna be my here single crochet here and single crochet in the last one, the witch here. That's why I tell you to put stitch marker because you don't want to miss it. 
Okay, and this is a two repetition row. One is gonna be with the little bubble, it's an alternative with the bubble, and one single crochet. So again, chain one, start with a single crochet here in the first stitch, and then you're gonna do the and you're gonna do the cluster in the next one. Start to the hook. Close two, yarn over, same stitch, close two, you three loop on your hook, close together, slip stitch and the next one. If you notice, I don't start with what I usually do with a basic single crochet the first row, because you're gonna see why when you have to sew the back. So We are here with slip stitch and the next one, the cluster. Close two, yarn over, insert the hook with the yarn, close two, through three loop on your hook, close and slip stitch in the next one. Like that. Again. close two, close three, and slip stitch in the next one. Okay, so I finish this row, we're gonna start together the next one, and then from then it's a repetition into we reach, uh, I'm gonna tell you how many row I did my, okay, we, I'll show you later, okay, so finish this row and then I meet you at the end. I'm almost at the end here, I'm gonna slip stitch here, single crochet here, okay, chain one, turn your work, this is where you have to put your single crochet here, don't forget this one, okay, so first single crochet here, the second one is gonna be here, the which was the slip stitch from the previous row. And then turn, you see the B here, single crochet. And then again here, inside, is a little V. We have a little V, a big V. Little V, a big V. So you cannot miss it. If you just turn a little bit if you have a problem and then you see. And that's what you have to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you my how many rows I did mine. Okay. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a 30 row, rows, and I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 little bubble. Okay, the reason for this measure is because we have to have an, a perfect square, okay? So if you want to make a bigger or small, you have to just keep in your mind they have to be a square, okay? Now if I measure from here to here, it's a seven inch, it's a seven, um, 17 centimeter, and then from here to here is a 17 and a half. But that's okay. They don't have to be like a um, perfect, perfect square because you know it's crochet, it's a no piece of fabric. Okay? So but you have to have a like this. Now 
the important things and then I show you here in the Y one so you can see better you have to finish the row with a bubble okay not with a single crochet this the first row not the second one they have to be like that we, without single crochet in the top and then I'll show you how then take you yarn a needle and then we're gonna sew together this piece now fold it like that the right side in front of you let me come closer and then we take this piece here and then one on this side Next stitch, and they try to make a bubble together in the same direction. To align, see, like that try to align the bubble and then you sew in each stitch I pull the pull the, the yarn like that see you don't see nothing this way okay so continue like that and then I meet you here and I'm gonna tell you what you have to do next okay I finished to soon my see you don't see nothing so now you turn this inside out okay just like that then this is the end I still have the needle attach it with the thread so make it even like that nice and flat then we have to sew this bottom part and then we're gonna do the same thing taking one stitch from this side and one stitch from this side Or you can sew like that. So doesn't matter because they're gonna go inside, so you don't see nothing. How you prefer? How you feel more comfortable to sew? It. In both ways, fine. So finish the sewing and then I meet you here. When you come here at the hand, secure with a knot and then go through the, the stitch.
to loosen the, the yarn. And then you cut it. Okay. Now, let me zoom out. So, fold again from outside. Make a sure that the corner is out. If you want to uh, line it, you have to um, take the fabric that you chose and the felt if you want to make a little bit more study, but it's up to you. So you have to just cut the felt in double like that. Oh. Let me take out this, we don't need it. Double. Go a little bit like this. Okay, then you cut the fabric, the felt here. And then for the length, we're gonna cut just a little bit shorter. So see, I don't go very close to the hand, I left one centimeter. Then turn it again, and then you cut it. we're gonna do with the fabric. Let's put it this away for now. Fold the elf. And then this time you have to leave a little bit here and one centimeter here, at least one centimeter here. So I'm gonna cut like that. And then I'm gonna leave a one centimeter here. just to sew this together. So you want to fold it this way. If you have a sewing machine, do it with the sewing machine or you can do it by hand. Okay, so I'm going to do it mine, you do yours and then I'll show you what you have to do next. Okay, when you done sewing all the, this little Okay, even the felt. You put the fabric, the right sides inside, close it this way, and you put it inside in this one, like that. 
and then you adjust it. Okay, and then you put this inside the project right there. And make sure that everything is nice and tight inside, like that. Okay, now. We are in this way, right? So it's a nice okay. Put this in this way, like that. Open up from the middle, like that, and then flat down this two part. Push this way and push it down and we have something like that can you see it? we fold it this way let's go do it again so we are this way we put everything inside okay now, put this way like that, then open up, put it down this way, turn and put a push like that. Okay. Now, to keep it this piece in place, because now we have to sew the zipper, you can help yourself with some clasps. So they're gonna stay nice, it doesn't gonna move when you, we're gonna sew the... Like that, it doesn't gonna move. Okay. You can put out even one here and one here. Now, the thing that we have to do now is sew so the zipper. But, now if you see an excess of felt, you can cut it, which I'm going to do because I left too much. Now, the zipper. I'm having this zipper for another bag that I was old, so I like it what I what else they finish, so I'm gonna use this, but you can use any zipper you want. So for now put it back the fabric, we don't need them now. Now we just need to sew that. Even the felt we don't need them now. So you can just put it back like that. Give you some space to work on it. Okay. Now take your zip from this side like that. You're gonna pin it like that. Just go close as you can, but not too close, otherwise, you're not gonna be able to open the bag. And then put in the middle the. See here? I take the felt 
too. So the it's like a sandwich between the, the bag and then felt. So I'll put it down. I put this in the middle here. And then you attach it. Now it's make a sense. Like that. But I give you an idea what we have to do, right? Of course, the zip has to be the same exact measure from the bag. There we go. Okay, and then we do the same thing this side. Push it down. Felt like that. Okay. And so on, and then you start to sew your zipper, and then we're gonna attach the fabric. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. And now that we uh, sew the felt to the fabric to the bag, to the zipper, we're gonna line it. So just turn it down a little bit, then go close here, put some pin pop you out and then we're gonna sew like we usually do with the back okay so start from here and then just a little stitch don't go too closer to the zipper otherwise you're gonna have a problem when you have to close that's it just like that Okay, so I'm going to finish mine and then I'll show you the result. And that done, we have it. There we go. Or triangle bags. I put this kind of um, little bit chain. So that's what it look like. Here, see? a nice triangle and then I put this pompon here you know it's a nice little thing that you can carry around when you have to go you know someplace or you know I'm bring your bag and that's what it looks like inside there we go nice okay so if it this tutorial you like it, sorry for the noise and then a little moving around. Maybe if I can push it no, a little bit more. Let's see if I can. There we go. Maybe a little bit this side. You see much better. So like I say, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like. If you new new in this channel, subscribe and then send me a comment and follow me in my social media which I'll link everything in the box below and then of course like always all the material that I'm using I'm gonna leave you uh, the information so you can uh, uh, find anything you need but like I say in the tutorial you can make this um, purse with very heavy cotton uh, so it's not a problem at all. <clears throat> Hope you like it. Let me know. And then I'll see you at the next tutorial. Bye. Thank you.